Hey, Hypixel is currently down at the time of me recording this video, but I just hit 15,000 followers on Twitch. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Twitch is down in the description if you guys want to follow on our way to YouTube rank, and I can apply for partner in like 20 minutes. So that's crazy. This is our second go, and this time we have a way higher average, so our chances of getting it are a lot higher. But as you can see, I got Baby Yoda with me. I got, I got Everest, and we are going to show you how to modify the pack overlay because you're probably wondering, hey, Prism, I have your pack overlay. It's cool and all, but I can't do anything with it. Well, let me show you, okay? Let me show you. So this is the skin, right? All right, pretty easy, pretty easy. This is the, the Bedwars 3D model overlay. I made this in Cubic Pro. It took me about eight hours, um, and then UV mapping and getting the right textures on there took a lot longer. Um, but as you can see, we can go in here. This is the overlay right here. And now you should be able to see this tab. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into Prism's Bed Overlay, V2. If you don't know, have WinRAR, um, you're going to need it for this. So basically, at Prism's Bed Overlay, this is what you'll download from my Discord server. It's in my Discord. Uh, you're going to download it, and then you're going to click Open with WinRAR. All right. And then you're going to see this. And all you're going to do is Extract to and press OK. Um, and then I already have it extracted, but you just go through with that, and then you'll see another folder, and this will be an actual folder, and it won't look like a WinRAR uh, folder. So once you go inside of this, you're going to see this. Um, you can mess with this if you want. Um, this is the, the actual overlay image, if you don't know how to edit a pack. Uh, but paint.net is also going to be in the description. Make sure you install that. It is very easy to edit photos. And then once you have it installed, open with, choose another app. And then I open all my PNGs with paint.net. So always open PNGs with uh, paint.net. It makes it a lot easier. Um, so now if you do that and you open an image now, it'll open it. All right, moving right along. You can edit this folder or this uh, notepad thing. This uh, shows basically uh, the name of it. But make sure you leave in this part right here. This all credit goes to twitch.tv prism because I did make the model. It is mine. Um, don't try to change it. I will know and I will take down your videos if you do. Um, so we go into this folder and you're going to find this path and you're going to go into block. And this is the JSON model. This is the model. You can't edit this. You can't change this. This is what I made. Okay. Um, and same thing with this one. It uses the same model. So all you need to be worried about is textures. So this is the path you need to take. Open it up. Assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks. Okay. And this is all you need. These are all your files. Very simple, very easy. I made it so easy for you. So simple. Okay. All you need to worry about is the names. So please do not change any of these names or the pack won't work. Um, just make sure they are the same names because that is what it uses for pathing. So... For bed particle, uh, that is going to be the texture when you break the bed. That's what it's going to use. So you can change that if you really want. Uh, bed base, if we open this up, this is our bed, right? So you see this in Minecraft, right? That is our bed. Very simple, very easy. Uh, for example, if we wanted to change this, uh, you can kind of mess around with this. You can import your own bed texture. And as long as it's mapped just like this, it will work. Um, so what I mean by that is if I wanted to add in my own texture, I could do that. Or even uh, rotate this, the hue a little bit, make it more like oak wood, and then change this as well. So we can make this aqua. Or, uh, for example, we'll just make it green, because why not? All right, so we're going to make the bed uh, like a lime green. Uh, so we want to make it a little more green and a little more saturated. And that is a way closer match, if not almost perfect, with that. So now we can save this, and we are good to go. Back into our folder here. And we'll change the bed particle because, you know, we want that to be the same as this. So we will copy this and we will paste this. Um, and now we have that here. Or we can even edit that and make that whatever we want. We can make that the bed texture if we want. We can make that that. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all mapped correctly and you can do scalable textures. What I mean by that is if I go to resize, as long as you have it on nearest neighbor, so you select this, maintain aspect ratio. You want to make sure that's checked so you don't mess anything up. As long as it is 32 or 64, or 128, or 256, or I think it's 1028, I'm pretty sure. Um, 512, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1000, or so 512 uh, will work as well. And then 1024, yeah. So this will work, right? So for example, you can put any image you want, and when you break the bed, it'll have this uh, same image. But this is a really big image now, right? So if I draw on this, you can see 
it has the same aspect ratio. It looks exactly the same, but it's much, 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 much bigger. So we'll go back down. So 512 or 1024 or even 2056. You can even go really big with it if you really want. So that is infinitely expandable. Same with all these textures. If you want to make the bed texture bigger, you can do that as well. You can increase this to 2048. And then you will have that to work with. And you can import any bed texture. And as long as it aligns with this, which is the default Minecraft texture uh, for a bed or, or mapping for a bed, basically. So you just have to open up all the bed PNGs and then you can base them on here. If you know how to edit packs, this is really easy. If you want a pack editing tutorial, I might do one eventually. But yeah. So now uh, moving on, if we go to bed skin, this is my Minecraft skin. This is the beautiful part about this. Basically, you can go to NameMC.com. You can, uh, let's see, say we're a dream stand and we want to make this a dream themed bed overlay. We can find this, this one, and then you click download. I have it automatically open the image, but you don't, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can open it on your desktop. You just need to find it. And this is what the, his skin looks like. So it works with, uh, two overlays. So if you have a two layered skin, it'll actually work. And you just paste it over the top. So you can control A, control C, and control V right over the top. And then all you got to do is click save and you are good to go. Now, you might have noticed if you're paying close attention that we have done the bed, we have done the skin, but now there's one part that's really cool that you guys might have been looking at. There is a image that is moving on the bed and you're like, how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So, we're gonna search up a dream GIF or any GIF for that matter, does not matter. You can even do a video if you wanna convert it to a GIF, that works. So, let's just say we want to put something like mm, this on it. That's pretty cool. So what we will do is click Save Image As, put this on the desktop, and I have a little website that I'm going to leave in the description of this video, so make sure you are paying close attention while we do this. So now we upload our file. We're going to go to uh, Resize. So we're going to go to Resize. We're going to open this desktop. We're going to find our GF that we downloaded. Click Upload. And once you have done that, you're going to wait just a little bit here. So this is our GIF. Cool, right? You're wondering, how do we do this? Okay, so for the width, we're going to want it to be a perfect square. So 256 is what I have this set to. So if we open our, uh, I guess it would be blanket. Uh, no, NM. So it actually doesn't use blanket. You don't need that texture. If you want it to be a still texture, you can still do that. Um, I can show you how to do that. Um, that's pretty easy. Most people know how to do that. But this texture is 256. So what we need to do is resize this to 256 by 256. Resize image. Done. It is going to calculate that. And there we go. There it is. There's our awesome looking GIF. Now, what we do from here is click convert and we're going to convert this to a sprite now once we have done this we are going to do one column and then we're going to do stack vertically and then resize you can put 256 256 and there we go our entire gif is right here isn't that cool so now you can save this wherever and you can open it on the desktop and as long as it's in paint on it you're good so we have our whole PNG thing here, our whole JF strip, which is really cool. And then we click Control A, Control C, and then on this image, you can paste it. And you can see this is less than the other one. This is less images than the other one. So all you're going to need to do is go to Image, Resize, and then you change the height to, doesn't matter, as long as it's less. Uh, turn off uh, Maintain Aspect Ratio as well. You're going to want to make sure you turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio. So tick that off. And then we can paste this. Um, so again, copy this, control C. And we made this the wrong dimension with this 256 height as one. And then expand canvas. And that will basically just resize it to the size that it's supposed to be. Now, if we save this and go to our edited one, which is not gonna say zip, it's gonna say regular. And now if we put on this pack overlay, you should see we are now a dream stand and the bed overlay works and it looks really cool. You can do so much with this. There's so many other things. Um, it is mapped completely correctly. So yeah, that's the thing as well. And you can see our bed particle even save. Like if we go in a game mode S, boom, see, 
the wood bud break like particle thing. That's what that is. A crop, sorry, a crop. So you want to crop a square, a specific square, right? Uh, you can hold, um, you can press square, and then we'll automatically crop to a square. So say we just want, you know, we want this part of it, right? Because all it has to be is a square, realistically. Okay, so this is 280 by 280. Now, if we click set, and uh, crop image. So this is our cropped image, and now if we convert to a sprite, as long as it's a square, it won't matter. So um, we'll do one, stack vertically, convert to sprite sheet, and we will open this bad boy right up. Um, so that will open it up for me, and then we can copy this, and as long as it's on the anim, and expand canvas, this will work. It'll detect the size automatically. Um, you can do some other really cool things with this that I'll show you very quickly. Um, if you want to make this just the PNG, for example, we want to make it the blanket. Uh, all you got to do is change out this file. So the one that says blanket, we'll just rename this uh, for the sake of this to blanket one. Uh, or not, we'll change the anim. That's what the blanket is. So if we change this to like one, say. And then we change this to anim. We should be able to press F3 and T. And it will be just a solid texture. Delete that. Oh, nope. It works. Okay. So, yeah. So, you, now that's the texture. And if you want to swap it back, very easily do that just by changing it back. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's already... It's got, like, very well... It's very well, like, rescaled. Um, you can even put a higher resolution Minecraft skin texture if you want. Like, for example, if you go on Google and you type in, like, a HD Minecraft skin... There's just so many things you can do with it. It's very customizable. Um, for example, this looks pretty cool. So, um, so I think if we click on, you know, we'll, we'll do this one, right? Uh, I think this will work if we download it. Okay, so this is our Minecraft skin. And obviously this is not a normal size Minecraft skin. This is uh, an HD Minecraft skin. So if you want to put that on the bed, uh, just paste it onto the bed skin, expand the canvas size, and as long as it is a square, which is 128 by 128, that is a square, and what this is going to do is that's going to put that on the bed with both layers, and it's going to look really, really good. Look at that. Perfect. It automatically rescales it. Got both the layers on there. It's so useful. Dude, it it was not easy. Let me tell you, this, this took forever, but I hope you guys enjoy it again. Um... It is fully yours. Just do not claim that it is. Um, have fun with it. Do whatever you want. Change it around. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys uh, in the live streams or in another video.